Hey guys, this is Carissa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Inky Fairy Designs. Today I have a Copic coloring video for you featuring this stamp by Stampin' Bella and it is called Curvy Girl with a Newborn. She's absolutely adorable color cuddling with her newborn and it comes with two sentiments. Uh, I'm just doing some simple Copic coloring. I stamped her using Ink on 3 Blackout Ink and I had actually started this video stamping her with a different ink and it bled so I went back to this ink and started over. It got me to thinking about all of the different black inks that I have and I'm considering doing a comparison video of all of the black inks that I have, which ones that I like to color with, uh, with uh, Copics, which ones I like to color with watercolor. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, leave me a comment below and let me know. I actually uh, got some new paper to color on. This is the Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy cover paper. It is a 100, 100 pound weight. And I actually used this paper way back in the beginning when I started coloring. And then I switched to the Copic Express It paper, which I really, really loved, but have found recently that it is um, gumming up when I put a lot of ink on the paper, or even if I don't put a lot of ink on the paper. So I've been testing out different papers and I was reminded of this one. And so I picked some up and I have to say, I love it. It's still as great as I remember. And um, it'll probably be my go-to paper for Copic coloring. Uh, in the future. So you can see that I've started with the skin tone and I have all of the color caps um, on the left hand corner of the screen. You can grab them there. I will also have a full list below in the description box here on YouTube as well as my blog inkyfairydesigns.com. So if you're interested in any of the color combinations that I used on this stamp, um, you can find it in both of those spots. I always color light to dark. So the lighter colors are always going to be at the top of the screen and then they're going to go down to the darker colors. And I generally use like a purple or a blue violet for some shadow color on my skin tones. And um, I went with a slightly different combination for the baby and also brought in a, a lighter blue violet just to give that a um, little bit of a shadow on the baby as well. So um, I want to also apologize for my hands. Um, I need to figure out how I can set up maybe my phone to film at a different angle when I'm doing the coloring videos because I feel like as I was editing this video and watching it back, you miss a lot of like the strokes that I'm using because I tend to use the very tip of the uh, brush marker side of the Copics to flick my color and get the blending that I like, especially on the hair. I like to do very, very thin flicking motions, um, light, I guess, flicking motions to get that hair texture as I'm blending it out. Um, I still start light to dark as I do on the entire image. Um, so I flick out um, into the white spot, white area, and then get darker and darker. And then I fill it all in with the lightest color at the end. And then here um, with the darkest color, I'm adding just very uh, light strands of hair texture, which you can see when I move my hand out of the way. And then I come in and blend that out with the medium tone and then I'll go very lightly over the entire hair with the lightest color just to blend that all together. But that adds like a really nice uh, strand texture to the hair. So now I'm going into the dress and I'm still obsessed with the color coral. I can't help myself. Um, this is a slightly different coral combination than I used in my last video, which I will link here in the iCard. You can see um, another Stampin' Bella stamp that I colored with Copics, but I really love this uh, coral color. And I'm just kind of playing around with different slightly combinations of the markers uh, for maybe more of an orange tone or more of a pink tone. This one comes out more 
uh, of an orange warm tone and I really really like it I started with the three colors that you see in the upper left hand corner but as I started to fill in her dress um, she has a very large area <clears throat> of, a, of a skirt to color and so as I started to fill that in I felt that I needed to bring in an even lighter color so sometimes when there's a the large area I will blend with four colors most of the time I make do with just three colors it just really depends on how much variation how much depth I want to see in the image and with reds it doesn't matter if you're working with the lighter red tones or the darker red tones they just uh, take a little bit more work to blend so if you're working with the red Copic markers or any type of alcohol based markers and you're finding that you're not getting a smooth transition you may have to go over the area two, uh, two times or three or even three times to get that really smooth transition. And on the skirt, I left a nice white area uh, around the edges, which I will fill in um, at the very end just to leave that nice bright highlight um, that I think just adds a little bit more dimension to that nice full skirt. So... I apologize again I was off screen quite a bit when I was filming this uh, it's just uh, I'm not used to uh, being so zoomed in and um, made it a little bit more difficult so I'm coming in and I'm I'm coloring the little baby's clothes and I'm looking at it kind of figuring out what is the baby what is perhaps the girl um, but I figured that um, that little sliver is like the arm of the baby kind of around the mama so I ended up coloring that um, this same minty color and um, this is a great image to have if you have um, new mamas in your life and you can color the baby pink or blue if you know what the baby is or like this one i was giving it to a mama who decided not to find out what she was having beforehand so i colored the baby in this really pretty minty green color which is just a very sweet neutral color for babies i know with my last i didn't find out what i was having and I actually really loved the neutral clothing that they have out right now. It's a lot better than, <laughs> say, when I had my first one um, 14 years ago now. Uh, the neutral line of clothing were very bright yellow and like Kelly green, which just, I didn't really care for. Um, but yeah, but now that I've now that she's here and everything now i dress her all in pink and purples because i like that <laughs> but anyway so i just decided to keep the greens the same uh, color for the leaves in her hair and then I went back and forth I was going to do the flower in her hair maybe matching her dress but I really love this bright yellow and I thought it would um, provide a nice contrast with the minty green and the coral and it went really well something that I like to do with my yellows is bring in um, a contrast color for the shading so instead of using like a darker yellow I bring in a blue violet um, which was the BV 23 and it just gives you a nice uh, shadow depth without kind of making it brighter green a bright yellow um, if that makes any sense it gives you that depth without having to go um, darker with the yellows. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I love to do whenever I'm using yellow um, on an image like this. So here I am. I'm just adding those little dots that I like to do around my images when <clears throat> I'm not doing a background, which I never do a background. So the dots are where it's at for me. Uh, it's simple. It adds um, a little bit of texture to the image and I like it better than just adding <clears throat> like highlighting around the entire image with a color I just think the dots um, give it a little bit more 
uh, funky texture, I guess. So I'm adding some shading underneath her so she has something to stand on. She's not just floating in midair. Um, but yeah, I think this image turned out super cute. I ended up just cutting it out with a die. Uh, um, and my, my favorite things die. I, I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head, but it's a tag die. And, um, since I was just slipping it into a gift, um, I wasn't turning it into a card. I just created that tag shape so I could slip it into the gift, added a bit of shimmer onto the baby to make her shine a little bit. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and um, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already a subscriber. If you are, click on the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video or if I go live on my YouTube channel. And share this video if you enjoyed it with your friends on social media. That just helps my channel get seen more and grow and allows me to create even more videos for you. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, stay inspired, be creative, and share that with others. Bye!